Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to color your animal. You have your printed sheet. You don't really need this anymore unless you need drawing help. Uh, but I'm going to be referencing the, the colored picture from Deep Art from now on for my colors. So the first thing that you should do is erase any guidelines. I'm going to, me personally, I always like to start with the darker colors first. So looking at my cat, I'm going to start with the ears. So those are pretty dark and pretty vibrant and I'm going to just work my way up. So I'll do the lights last. So with your colors, um, just go ahead and start maybe with the darkest one. This isn't technically the darkest. The blue in this might be the darkest, but I'm just going to start from this side and kind of work my way over. Now, I understand that this is not going to be exactly like the picture, but I do want to see you blending your colors kind of roughly like the picture. So this is prominently like orange on this side. Um, so I'm going to add a lot of orange. Now there is a kind of burnt orange like this and a lighter orange kind of blended together. So I am burnishing my crayon. So similar to the illuminated letter, your artwork needs to be burnished. Um, and then if you're going to be blending colors, you can try to create, you know, gradients and things like that. Uh, that's really effective when you're working with crayon is to create a gradation. Now the, the annoying part with crayon is that it creates a lot of waxy residue. Uh, so when you are getting rid of that, um, don't slide it so much because it'll, it'll stain the part of your paper and that's just annoying. So maybe if you kind of tap it off or you can wait till the end to try to get those little things out of the way. Uh, but I would avoid like swiping it a lot just because you know, it's, it's messy and it'll mess up your page. Now, even in the corner here, there's a little bit of like this red violet and I'm going to lay that down, red violet, lay that down on my paper as well and burnishing as I go. And again, everybody's needs to be burnished. That is a requirement for this process. And then I'm going to go back to my kind of burnt orange color, lay that down here. And I'm just paying attention to kind of roughly where these colors are being laid. And then maybe just a little bit. And if you want, like, I'm not going to burnish this blue, but I'm going to lay down the blue. And then with this red violet color, I'm going to burnish. So it creates kind of like a even more obvious red violet. Oh, I like that. I actually like that. And I'm just going to keep working and I'm going to work all the way through here. So I'm going to work on that right now. I'm going to show you how I plan to do the eye and some of these white areas. So I've colored in kind of these vibrant, darker areas on my cat, but now I'm going to do the eye. And instead, this is a pretty dark value, but instead of just using flat black, I want it to blend in kind of naturally with everything else, which is pretty colorful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a little bit of red, a little bit of this blue, um, and then I'm going to go over it with black. So it's not just flat black. So um, I'm going to go around this, maybe this area with blue, just laying down a little bit of color. And then a little bit more red around here, or red violet. Now I'm going to take this black crayon and just go over that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the eyeball as well. So it's not just flat black. Um, in the picture, it looks like maybe there's a little bit of blue and there's also a lightness to the eye, almost like a gradation. So the outer edge is kind of dark, but then as it goes towards the center and there's a little sparkle in the eye, a little reflection, um, I'm going to leave that white. So a little dot there and then the outer edges I'm going to burnish. But then as I, whoops, as I go towards the center, I'm just going to do a really light 
I'm not burnishing. So then I can go through with black and I'm not pressing really hard, just a light layer. Then I'm going to go over stop with blue. Sorry, I'm super popular right now. Okay. So I have a cute little kitty eyeball right there. And then I'm going to do kind of the same thing on this side. So the next part I want to talk about is the lighter areas. So right in here on my cat, um, I don't want to just leave it white. I could. Um, but I think it's more interesting when there's a little bit of color. And when I look really close, it's almost like a grayish blue color. I, you can't really see that come across in the picture on the video. But there's just a little bit of blue. So what I'm going to do is just a very, very light layer of I've got this, um, this blue green, but it's just a really light blue. I'm going to lay that down. And then this... I mean, it doesn't work the same as oil pastel, but I'm going to take my white now and kind of mix that in there, kind of forcing the blue to flatten the tooth of the paper. So this is just a little more interesting than just leaving it white. Um, whatever really light color you may see in there, I, I would do that for some of your white areas. If it truly is white, you could leave it, but I think it's just more interesting to look at when there's a little bit of color on it. Now I'm gonna be working on this side of my cat. And if you have a darker area that's kind of in shadow, kind of like my cat here, there are these streaky areas on this side, but they're really bright uh, compared to this over here. And if you wanna add that shadow look, what you could do is similar to what we did earlier. You wanna lay down, not burnish yet but I have this gray crayon and it's not black so it's not super dark but I'm just going to lay down a little bit of gray just to give it a little bit darker tone and just laying that down anywhere where you know it seems to be a little bit darker and then with my crayon and if you, this might be easier for you, if you look at all the areas that are this color and try to do all of those areas in this section with that orange, that might be easier to lay down rather than do it one little section by section, but it's totally up to you. If you like to do it section by section, that's okay, but sometimes it is good to get an overview of everything. So I'm looking at this orange color here and it's kind of repeated all throughout here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down. Actually, I might add a little bit of gray in there as well. It's a little shadow. Now I'm going to burnish with my orange. And I'm going to burnish over here. Just laying all these areas down that have this kind of light orange color. Next, I want to talk about the background. So the background of your picture, whatever is going on, again, you can simplify it. I know I mentioned that in the other video. If there are weird things that are confusing, you can cut those out and try to just stick with the consistent pattern, whatever that may be. Just kind of blend it in, pretend it's not there. Um, but what you want to make sure of is that your subject stands out from the background. So on my cat here, there is a very obvious shadow around my cat. So what I did is I laid down some gray crayon first, not burnished yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and pretty much similar to what I've been doing is go through and just lay color on top of it. And I'm just making it very obvious where the shadow meets the actual cat. So we're just laying down that color and now I am burnishing. And I'm kind of doing it in the similar streaky look just to go along with the style. So just make sure that your subject matter stands out from the, the background. 
So um, you can work on this. Um, if you need help with anything, let me know. Again, it's better if you go through and you figure out kind of where all the similar colors are, lay those down first in those, you know, that streaky manner, or make sure that you're blending your crayons to look more like a gradation, making it look really smooth. Uh, but the most important thing is to burnish and pay attention to where all the darker areas are and where all the lighter areas are.